Hey guys, welcome back to the uh, Bushcraft Base Camp. Uh, beautiful sunny day out right now. Thought I might get out and enjoy the afternoon. Uh, it's like minus three. Uh, the sun's shining, so it's nice and warm overall. My hands are a bit cold. Uh, got a fire going. I'm not really planning to do much. I got to do some camp cleanup, and uh, I'm going to start dismantling the cabin a little bit. Start looking at what's in there and what I need to take back. Um, in retrospect, I should have brought a sled down with me just to uh, deal with some of the items I could take back. But on the uh, plus side, uh, it was a hard snowshoe in, so it probably wouldn't be the best idea. My bridge is all kind of washed out in terms of like it's been like heavily covered in snow, so it's almost impassable. So I have to go around and into the stream. So we'll get uh, get a coffee going, and we'll, we'll see what we want to do after that. So unfortunately, uh, this whole area is all washed out. It happens every year, at least the last two years that I've been here. Uh, and all the water just kind of filters down through. There's really not much you can do about it. It's part of the uh, part of the layout of the terrain. Um, I don't think I'll be actually in, in the future moving this. I think I still will keep this shelter. Uh, my, my ultimate goal is to build a new shelter, but more of a more of a day camp type shelter, overnight thing, but not a cabin so much. More of just a kind of, um, I, don't really, I don't even know what you call it, it's kind of like a hut I guess, I, I haven't really decided on the design yet, but uh, what will basically be the cabin will become this new structure hopefully in the future, but uh, again I haven't really finalized any designs for it, so but yeah it makes for an awful mess in here though, until, until all the snow melts and it dries up a bit, not good times, not good times. So you can see that this table kind of bit the biscuit over the winter. I think I mentioned it in one of my other videos. I can't remember which one. Anyway, she's falling apart pretty good here. Uh, but believe it or not, she's stuck right in the snow. I don't even think I could move her if I wanted to. So uh, I'll probably just leave this for now. And uh, once everything melts, I'll have to deal with it. Uh, fortunately, the other table's been working great and hasn't fallen apart yet. So hooray! But uh, yeah, it's a... Uh, so unfortunately, I like this little table. It was really nice to put stuff on when I was packing up gear. It, was, it gave me a little extra space away from the fire or out of the way. Um, it's kind of too bad. I guess I'll turn into kindling after this.
Well, rather sit in the mud over there. It's uh, probably just as well be out in the sun like this for now. Like I said, just decided to come out for the afternoon. Really not much going on. It's really nice out. Spring is pretty much here. Just still have all the snow. Um, temperatures are kind of getting around minus five to zero overnight and then plus five uh, through the day, which is great. Um, hopefully soon everything will open up because like there's so many things I need to do this summer, it's not even funny. I mean, I have to collect firewood. I have to process firewood. I have to uh, continue working on the other cabin. Uh, I have plans with this cabin to kind of tear it apart and rebuild it in some form or fashion. I'm not entirely sure yet, but uh, it's just something on the list of things I'd like to do and or at least get started. So, yeah, it kind of sucks when uh, camp gets flooded out like this. It's not very fun. It's not very enjoyable. It's really muddy in there, and you can't really do anything. Uh, it's probably my least favorite time of the year. You'd think that spring would be the most favorite time of the year, but it really isn't. Not in terms of uh, not in terms of, of the way you know water just gets into everything and, and kind of damages everything and makes everything a chore. So basically, I gotta wait till the snow melts and then I gotta give it another week for everything to dry out a little bit. It's just maybe even two weeks or three weeks. So, but it is the middle of March, so you never really. You know, you never know how long it's going to be. It could be another month or two. It could be another month. It all depends on if uh, it keeps snowing or not. And by the looks of it, it doesn't look like it. it. Looks like it's all going to be rain, which is, which is good in some ways. It was either do this today, or uh, I was going to do a little scouting out for that site uh, at the other camp. But then I realized it's the same situation with the snow being there. I can scout it out, and I might still do that, but I can't affect any work. I can't do anything because the snow is too high. Anything I do would get kind of like, you wouldn't be able to plan it properly. Uh, so the only thing I could do is maybe get materials started, which would be a good idea as well. I apologize if the uh, if the uh, wind is making a lot of noise because the, the stiff breeze pulling through this way right here. It's a super nice day out today. It's just perfect out in the sun. Uh, I wish I could be in by the fire a little bit just because of the just because it's nice and warm in there, but it's just so muddy, so muddy. I'm gonna finish up this coffee, and uh, and then I think I'll start taking apart things in that uh, in that old cabin there, and uh, see what uh, what kind of room I can make. I've got a bunch of wood in there that was supposed to be drying, and I don't think it really dried very well because it's so damp in there. So I'll have to get all that out, unfortunately, and. Uh, yeah, and that's gonna be kind of annoying. And then I gotta start thinking about what stuff I can take back and, and get back and take have to take back to the home and stuff like that. And obviously a lot of that stuff's gonna go once the snow's gone because it'll be easier to move it. But for now, it's just kind of get it organized, set aside, and, and then and then when the time comes, just kind of haul it out. It's, it's unfortunate that it's kind of come to this, but I just I feel like that. I've kind of grown past this design, I've grown past this kind of uh, structure with the new cabin. So I, I figured let's go back to the original plan which this area is a, a cool little hangout area. And um, yeah, it, uh, yeah, it is a bit sad. But some good will come of it uh, and that, that's all that's important. And it was, it was, it was experience that uh, that really what it was about. It wasn't about, you know, building a long-term shelter. It was about learning how to do stuff and, and, and figuring out if I could do it on my own, how much work it would take, which in the end was quite a bit, to be honest. Yeah, so that's that.
door works now. Okay, well that's about all I can take out for now. Um, it's really not much point beyond that at this this juncture. Yeah, it's just so much work for this entire structure, and then it just kind of comes to like out of disuse just because of other projects. I really hope I can figure out some stuff for it, but it's pretty clear that I do need some tools down here. I need a hammer and I need a couple types of screwdrivers and uh, and a good day and a good afternoon to do it. Uh, just so I can get the shelving out, which I won't take out of here, but I have like, I probably need to bring a backpack down and really kind of load it full of stuff that needs to go back up to the house that won't be able to be used in the new shelter. And uh, yeah, and then just salvage what I can off of everything, just like I do on every project. Like if I can salvage the nails and the screws and whatnot, uh, it's always worth kind of keeping if I can. And then if I can gut the interior, then it'd just be a matter of doing the exterior, which I'll just leave the shell. Um, I'll probably try and bring the sled down before the snow goes away and get the uh, wood stove out of there and get that home and cleaned up and maybe try and repurpose that for another shelter somewhere else maybe I don't know but, uh, yeah it's kind of sad it's kind of sad that it's going away but if it's not being used and it's not really worth having around and uh, uh, I don't like leaving a footprint on, on in that level if I'm not going to use it so a few things are going to be a bit annoying it's taking some of the tin back up and the windows and but uh, some stuff will be tougher than others but uh, Again, it was just a project of learning. It's just like, you know, all else being equal, I didn't think that I could afford to build a cabin. And then through just fortune, I, I managed to get the finances to build the other cabin. And that kind of just outdates this project. This is part of a learning curve more than anything. And it proved that I could do it on my own to a degree as well. So, yeah. I had many a night in her, though. I didn't film many of them, but I spent a fair few nights in it. And... Uh, it definitely got me through the, the first couple of winters there. Well, it would be only one winter, actually, I guess, in that regard. This winter and last winter. So, yeah, I guess two winters. And, um, yeah, we had some good times. And uh, it's just um, it's one of those things that also that in retrospect you realize, oh, yeah, I should have built a floor. Oh, yeah, I shouldn't have dug so deep into the ground. And I shouldn't have done it on a slope. But I shouldn't have done it where it's natural drainage. Like, there were so many small flaws in this oh yeah it's built off of trees so it sways and knocks everything off it's like there was no way it was going to last that long but i could have made it last for three or four or five years if i was down here but now that i'm at the other camp i have so many more things to do there and so many more things i can accomplish that uh, it this is getting neglected and i just don't want it to fall apart i want to take it apart and make use of it and rather than have it go to waste and that's that's kind of my goal with this right now like for example I know I can reuse those tarps I know I could probably use this gutter I know I could probably use some of this glass and wood and stuff for f further projects or maybe uh, making some furniture for hanging around here um, you know it, whatever it, it doesn't matter but it all all will be used properly and well and uh, it'd still be a great place to come down and hang out and uh, I, I think I'd rather camp here in the summer anyways uh, accessibility wise it's a lot easier What a muddy mess, jeez, it's horrible. I don't miss that, not at all. Well, that wraps it up for me today, guys. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. Uh, the uh, Not much of a video this week, unfortunately, uh, but I felt like I needed to get something out to you guys just to kind of let you know I'm still here and around. Um, as I said, I'm, I'm just kind of really busy right now and I'm honestly feeling a little uninspired in terms of what content to put out because I don't want to uh, 
inundate you guys with stuff that you've seen a hundred times before, but um, we'll get there. It's just, we gotta get the snow down a little bit, uh, get a little more access to some areas a little more easily. And uh, yeah, and then we'll, we'll, we'll get cooking, so. All right guys, thanks for watching, really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that sub button if you're new here. If you liked what you saw, hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the bell, then you can hit notifications on videos as well as community status updates. And uh, yeah, that's where we're at. You guys have a great day, and we'll talk to you soon. It's not worth it. <coughs> it's not worth it.